is up guys, attraction spot here, and I am in Beijing, China. This is crazy, I'm gonna be here for over a month, super stoked, and I'm gonna be taking you on my little journeys on everywhere I go here in China. And it's just gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be in Hong Kong and Shanghai, going all to the Disney parks, and then going to some other parks too that you may have known, maybe you didn't. So yeah, let's just get right into this. All right, so I'm here in my hotel at the Marriott. That's actually not a hotel though, kind of. They're apartments because people actually live here. There is one, two, and what am I doing here? One, two, and three bedroom apartments here. My room key only gives me access to the first floor, the second floor, and the floor that I'm on, which is the 17th floor. But the second floor has a pool, the fitness center, and then there's like a kid's play area or something like that. Unfortunately, there is no hot tub or jacuzzi. I know, I know, but if you want a hot tub or jacuzzi, maybe just fill up this bathtub in here. But we'll get into that in a second here. This is like the kitchenette. It's actually more like a full kitchen, I think. And then I was using Google Translate to show like the on-menu screens where you can do the live translate so I could get it into the English menu. And then they have like some apps and stuff you can download on there. Even though it's connected to the Wi-Fi in the hotel, it wasn't working. So I had to use my Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone. But yeah, it looks like there's like a golf range out there. That'd be fun to go try that. I've noticed too, it seemed like, especially when flying in too, I saw a lot of buildings that look the same. Everything's like really condensed here. And then if you're outside a lot, one thing I did forget to grab was a charcoal mask. And that I'll get sometime while I'm here because there's a lot of pollution and everything. When they had the Olympics here, they really cleaned it up and there was no pollution in the air and stuff. It was so clear. But you definitely want one of those here if you're gonna be outside a lot. Here is the room service. And then showed you a little bit of this here before. Here's the bathroom. We got the rain shower. And then this, this is cool with a little wand. Um, I actually used this and I was trying to figure out how to drain this before I even started using it. And I'm like, how do you do it? You actually have to turn this. And then it like popped up and it kind of scared me a little bit. Yes, there is actually a toilet here. And I've used these before, even at my old condo that I was in, they had these, this one you push for, if you're going number one, this one's for number two, cause it uses more water. But one thing here too, they do have Western toilets which basically is a hole in the ground and you just go and like on a train, there will literally be holes in the ground and it just, you know, you go and it goes down below the tracks. It's crazy. And then here is the bedroom with another TV. And here is this, and look, they still have the old iPhone or iPod connector. Here is a walk-in closet so this was pretty big they do have two and three bedrooms here be crazy to see what those look like they do actually have walmarts here and there's another company that's like supposed to be like similar to walmart but it makes walmart look small there's a shopping mall where the whole bottom floor is all just that and i forget what it's called i i'll have to let you know about that later they do have some 7-elevens here and the 7-elevens here they make fresh food and everything here and I don't think they have the Slurpee machines here, but um, they do have like sodas and Cokes and things at like the stores and um, some vending machines. There is a lot of vending machines with SIM cards and stuff like that. And if you didn't know, um, Chinese government actually blocks Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, WhatsApp. And um, there's some other sites that they block too. But yeah, so your VPN, if you've got one, is your best friend here. But on my phone, since I have T-Mobile, it already gives me free data here and texting. So it's on a different network. So it still lets me access those. But I did sign up for a Chinese bank account at the airport. I heard horror stories that it would like it was super hard now to do. And unless you're working here, technically I'm here on a tourist visa, but I'm technically working. But I ended up going to Bank of China at the airport. That was a no-go. Then I went over to Construction Bank and I was able to set one up. The hardest part was the language barrier and like trying to explain to them what I wanted to do and everything like that. And now I can use WeChat, which is like the biggest payment system that is used here. There's over like a billion 
people that use WeChat and you scan QR codes to do payments and everything like that. It's also another big competitor with Alipay, but WeChat also you can use it as a chat system and message people and follow official accounts and different things like that. It's just really cool. You can update stories and things. Uh, yeah, I've been using that for over a year now. I, I love it. I wish they would do WeChat in the US like for actually payments and going to stores and things like that. That would be amazing. But yeah, so we'll get back into this. I'm gonna go and we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna wait for my phone to charge and we're gonna go head over to Joy City. So I'm excited. <laughs> here to Joy City it's a pretty huge place because there's a lot of like building and stuff here they can't have it really go outwards I guess so they have to have it go upwards oh and here's a 7-eleven we're definitely gonna go check that out and we got a Starbucks here Paris baguette cafe got those oh, I'm excited to go in this 7-eleven super excited Go in here. Let's see what they got. got we chat here. Had a lot of beauty products and healthcare products. So let's see what we got here. Um, and there's music playing, of course. Oh, we got some good stuff here. Normally you would see like sandwiches and things here in the U.S. one, but we're not at the U.S. one. Oh, well, here we go. But they're a little bit different, and they're in little plastic bags instead of the hard containers. We got some cup of noodles. They might have like the really good ones here. If you look at all these other ones that we don't have. And I think here they can have like actual pieces of meat in them with a separate package where the FDA or Food and Drug Administration won't let us have those. So we've got a very small selection of drinks here. But that's alcohol. So you got Sprite Fiber. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, not very big selection there, but look at this. Look at this food in here. Mm. It's amazing. And then like we got like all this over here. Like our 7 one doesn't even have this stuff. Like pieces of whole chicken and stuff like that, chicken legs. Wow. Mm. Of course, we got the app store. And then we got some of the candies we remember here. Kiss, Giz, or whatever that is. Hmm. Interesting. Got the little miniatures. Oh, are those candy? You can draw with them too? I have no idea. And they have the dumb Kinder versions. Oh, but they have the good ones, I think. No, they're still kind of the dumb ones. The ones you get in Europe and stuff that they've actually banned in the United States. They got these. Then they're supposed to have different Kit Kats and things here too. So. Yeah. Well, let's go. Okay, one thing I'm finding out on the streets, that people just cross the intersections whenever they want, or people just go through intersections on their vehicles whenever they want. 
and it gets so congested it's crazy i don't know how anybody drives out here like i was seeing like old women young girls guys whoever and they were just like crossing the street when cars were going the direction that they were going into so <laughs> not sure what this is i do know this imax and another thing too, there's tons of QR codes out here. You scan them and then it incorporates it with WeChat. And you can like follow like the brand or whatever and they'll send updates and things like that. So I'm seeing a lot of places too with these curtains. Not sure what that's all about because it's not like a old meat closet or something like that. Wood stage. We got some elevators here. Let's just kind of check this area out here. Some lockers or something. But yeah, we gotta go up. Find me. Oh. Okay, so each of the floors have a different name, like play pool. Um, I already figured out all the names, but um, it showed like a list of a lot of stores here too. And yeah, we got a lot of like Timberland. Um, I saw on the sign there was a Tesla place here. There's a lot of American stores and more QR codes if you guys want to scan those. And you have WeChat. You could probably do it in another app, but it works best with WeChat. So. And I thought it was down on floor one. But I guess not. So we're gonna go to the bottom here. Like when we came in, remember when I came in? It was just like lockers and stuff, so I was going in the wrong way. Um, and, ooh, is that for orange juice? It is, those are so good. I tried one of those at Walmart. Yeah, lots of American stores here. Definitely no bargaining here though, because this, these are set prices. We're not at the big markets, so. Wow, what is this, like some anime thing? Crazy, I'm gonna go in here. This is, it's more, I think it's more of a grocery store, but it doesn't matter, this is still cool. Oh, we got some claw machines here. Sweet. I wonder if you can, this is to pay with WeChat or something. I don't know. So I'm gonna actually just try this now. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> I'm gonna ask somebody. All right, we got it. See what I can get. Actually, let's go over here. Oh, 
I can't go over that far. Uh, no, we didn't get it. Huh, I wonder if that's a trend here. Socks with sandals. Because where we live, you don't wear socks with sandals. People do, but just don't. <laughs> so here is this cool Coca-Cola machine. And they've got Sprite, they've got Coca-Cola. That one's probably the zero one. I am so glad they've got Monster here. I'm actually gonna get one of those. It's just over $1.1 about for this. I'm gonna pay now. It's a sleep can. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm paying, I'm paying. Payment successful. And out it comes. Oh yeah, it is. Weird, it's a smaller can. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it didn't have much fizz. Let's try it. Weird. There's not as much carbonation. Definitely tastes like a monster, but they're not as fizzy, carbonated, as they are in the US. And the can, it's so tiny and cute. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go up to the next floor here. Look what I just found. Oh my gosh, a Pizza Hut. <laughs> I wonder how good it is. I should definitely try this. And it's a sit down one too. Oh, those are always the best, but you never know here. It could be better, it could be worse. But we're gonna come back to that, definitely. Definitely, definitely. We're gonna check out more of the stores. No way, they have a Simpsons store. How cool is that? I don't even think they have that anywhere that I can think of in the US. $86, U.N. I like those. Huh, way too pricey for me though. Shishi. That's so cool. But they're so pricey, ah. Oh. Okay, so I'm on the next floor and all over here, this looks like the electronic stuff. We got Sony, Dell, Canon, Lenovo, Vivo. I'm not sure if I heard of that one, but I'm gonna check out Sony. I kind of looked at the phones real quick for a little bit. The Sony Xperia phones are like 400, 500 bucks. That's not too bad. Wow. This one here is like 2,748 US dollars. That's crazy. I'm gonna save this for the electronic market. Look what else we have. A Dairy Queen. Sweet. That orange one looks really good. Okay, check this out. This is a pretty sick slot car track. Check out this. This is really cool. This is crazy. So this section just all of a sudden changed. The floor is different. A lot of trees and plants and things like that really interesting but maybe this is like oh there's actual cats in there <gasps> really wait I'm gonna go in here there's just cats running around in here and they've got this whole play area that is cool.
just like restaurants. If you guys are coming here and looking to get a mobile SIM card for China, get China Unicom, which there was one actually by the hotel because for our phones in the international, uh, it works the best with like 4G and 3G and stuff like that because it's got the right bands. China Mobile is like a really big one, but it's not as good actually. We got ourselves a Burger King here. Nice. I'm gonna have to try all these and see how they taste. Okay, here we are at the arcade. Yeah, pump it up. How do you do this? I don't know. I'm gonna need some coins. I don't think this takes WeChat. A lot of beat games. Those look so much fun. That reminds me of the old iToy game where you have to put your hands up to the different spots. I, a lot of these games I have never seen. That's pretty cool. That looks, looks better than um, Rock Band. This is my type of game. How do you do this? Oh, so you gotta get it in the right one. Huh. Look at this. The games are so cool. This place is huge. Okay, I figured it out, guys. So, this is how you do it. So, if you see these here, you use your WeChat Pay and use your own QR code to pay to play this. So, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, let's see me fell at this. Second, this is on level six. Ready, go. seem to be like nicer restaurants. All right, look how high up we are. I just kind of wanted to view every floor and see what there was, but I think I'm headed back. Definitely gonna come back here, go to the arcade again. That was fun. There was not one game in there besides Pump It Up, but I haven't seen that version before that I have never seen. None of those games I even knew. All right, I finally made it back to the hotel here. Going inside. I always think I need to push these, but it automatically does it. Fancy. It's like at the airport. <laughs> but then it's no fun because then you can't push it and go around in circles really fast. Well guys, I'm gonna be going back to the room now. Thank you guys so much for coming with me today. It was amazing. It was fun. My first time in China, like going out, it was cool. Even just going out by myself and it was just a crazy experience. So I will see you guys later. So stay tuned, there's gonna be more amazing videos in China. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. If you love China, if you love these videos, love coasters, love theme parks, love Disney, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe. Check out my merch down below. 
And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. You can now join and become a member of Attraction Spot and be a part of the AS fam. All you have to do is head over to our YouTube channel and click join. Then you can become a member and get exclusive perks, such as a custom badge and comments and live chat that gets more exclusive the longer you have your membership, from one month all the way to two years. Early access to our new videos, exclusive community tab posts, be a featured member on our videos, and custom emojis. All you have to do is click join. The monthly subscription amount may be different depending on which country you live in, and some countries may currently not offer it. Fill out the payment information, click buy, and that's it. You're now part of the AS fam.